Hey YouTube, Candy Operative here, and I've got a new project for you guys today. Uh, this is something that I've basically been overhauling for the past two days, and it is probably going to be my new main primary, uh, even on top of my ace bow, which was my main primary. Um, I know I switch primaries a lot, but it all depends on, you know, whichever project is the greatest project that I have uh, at that time. And so far I think this primary is... Um, definitely, like, at least most likely anyways, like the best primary that I have. So, um, uh, here it is. It is fully done, completely, uh, paint job and all. And it's basically a pump-action shotgun with an integrated Maverick on the bottom. Now, I use that word integrated loosely, because the Maverick is actually not integrated, it's just attached on the bottom, um, and the standard trigger is still used, just like that. So, um, the reason I didn't integrate the Maverick completely, uh, well, there's two reasons. One is that I didn't really want to to begin with because I figured the key ring, I made a hole for the, the key ring to come out right here, here where you see the yellow there. I made the hole there for the wire to come out to attach to my middle finger so that way I could pull the key ring. But um, I figured that wire would be really long and if it wasn't on my finger it would just be hanging there and it would get in the way and be annoying. Um, so I didn't really like that too much. And then I decided that I would I would integrate it anyway so I would I would attach a key ring to it anyway. And I did and then the key ring, uh, the wire wound up snapping anyways. Um, I still need to find a good type of wire material other than fishing line, I need to get like metal fishing line, which I don't have, but um, I need to get some of that because any other type of wire that I've been trying to use for integrations, for key rings, um, just winds up snapping on me after like 50 trigger pulls. Um, so that's kind of annoying. So basically what I've done is on this side you can see I've covered up the trigger. Uh, that's basically mainly for stability actually. Um, just used a piece of plexiglass that I got at Home Depot yesterday. Um, cut it to the right shape and then glued it to this, the pump action shotgun, and to the Maverick. Um, yeah. And then also glued the Maverick completely on like all of the areas that it touches the pump action shotgun. So it's really, really stable on the pump action shotgun. But um, I don't have the plate, the plexiglass plate on the other side, so that way the trigger can be open on my, my right hand side which is my, my trigger hand, uh, so I can fire it. Um, okay, so you might be wondering how I got the idea to do this. Mainly, most of you guys have probably noticed this as well, um, a lot of nerfers on YouTube recently, for some reason, I don't know why, have been doing a lot of work with uh, Mavericks, uh, mainly just Ice, who did that really cool Mavcon thing, which is the main thing that gave me inspiration to do this. Uh, where he took a Maverick and integrated it into a Recon and made this really cool indoor primary. Well, I saw that and I was like, that's actually a pretty good idea. If you're going to integrate something, a Maverick is actually a really good blaster to integrate because it actually gets pretty decent range uh, for a pistol and it's got great rate of fire. So you can actually support yourself pretty nicely if you have a slow rate of fire, high range gun on top, like for the main gun, which is basically what my pump action shotgun is integrate this to the bottom and it'll really help me um, so I don't need like a sidearm or anything like that for close quarter stuff. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so that's what gave me the the idea. And then basically I did similar integration as I did but obviously there's no key ring and there's no plate on both sides. I just actually put a plate on the one side, which is the same thing I did, but um, mainly for me it was for stability. Um, modifications to the Maverick are all pretty standard. I did the half barrel mod, so the barrel, or the turret thing, flips out halfway. Um, 
I took out the air strikers, obviously, did the penny mod, re-lubricated the plunger, and uh, replaced the catch spring, I think. Did I? Well, anyways, I meant to. If I forgot, that kind of sucks, but I guess it's still catching anyways. Uh, yeah, the catch spring is working fine, so I don't know if I actually replaced that or not. Um, and then... That's it, I think, for the Maverick. Um, for the pump-action shotgun, um, it's basically all the standard mods. Um, I was going to put E-tape onto both of the O-rings, but it already comes with two O-rings on the, on the plunger anyways, and it already has such a good air seal. I'll prime this back and then cover up the coupler, and when I fire it, this goes in a couple inches, and then it stops, and then really slowly goes in, so... You see, it's... It's got a great air seal. Um, so I did re-lubricate it for the air seal, though. I uh, just didn't put E-tape under the O-rings. Uh, didn't do anything to the trigger, but the trigger's holding up really nicely. Um, it has long shot spring and stock spring. And couplered, obviously. Um, and then pump relocation to the back for the pullback stock mod. Really, really like this mod. It's just a fun thing to do, um, and I kind of needed to relocate the pump so that way I could put the the, the uh, Maverick here. So, yeah. And then I think I did some foam silencing. No foam silencing in the stock, though, because that would have taken a crap load of foam, and I'm running a little bit low on foam right now, and I need to be using all the foam that I do have um, to actually make darts with, because I'm going to war in two weeks, I think. So, yeah. Um, and then, of course, I did the standard... Sorry, that's my dog barking. I did the, uh, standard long shot front gun handle attachment. Um, that makes it a lot more comfortable when you have the pullback mod here. So, yeah, that's the gun. Uh, and I'm gonna go outside for you guys, uh, shoot this at the firing range, I think I called it in my last video. Uh, just like I did it in my last video, um, but with my pump action shotgun this time. Hey YouTube, we're outside, so I just spent a little bit too long talking inside, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Excuse my family, they're right over here, they're talking, so there's going to be background noise. Um, this is my pump action shotgun, I've just got a 12-inch uh, barrel, two-barrel speed loader on here. And uh, I'm just prime it back, load the speed loader on, and fire. Just so you know, I've never fired this gun before, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to fire behind the camera for now. I'm going to zoom in on the target for the first couple shots. Just like that. Firing in 3, 2, 1. Went right to the left of the target. Flipping the speed loader. Firing in 3, 2, 1. And that was a bullseye. Um, you probably saw where that hit. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to go bring the camera to the target every single shot because that'll just take too long because uh, I'm kind of limited on time right now. So Even though I'm a partner now so I can have videos as long as I want, I don't want to make this more than 10 minutes. So, Alright, firing in 3, 2, 1. Slightly below the target. Flipping the speed loader again. Firing in 3, 2, 1. Whoa, that went way high. You didn't see that, because that went out of the camera. Alright, here's one last shot. This dart is really, really tight in the barrel, so... It might go a little bit high again. Because it's going to build up a lot of pressure. Alright, firing in 3, 2, 1. And it went slowly to the left. Oh well, I got one hit on the target. Alright, now for the Maverick. Maverick, I'm probably not going to hit any of these. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the trajectory of the darts. Alright, now I'm going to be firing four shots from the Maverick. Uh, one of those darts was a, was like stupid and it didn't fire very well, but the other three fired in the vicinity of the target. None of them hit because obviously the Maverick is not an accurate gun, but uh, that just shows you the range a little bit. Now I'm going to zoom out completely so you can see how far away I actually am. And uh, I'll get back in the camera shot again. <coughs> So that's my pump action shotgun slash maverick thing. 
Hope you guys like it. I'll see you in my next vid. Catch you later.